Hello. How are you today? If you hear a little street click on one side, it's probably my ice part. <laughs> so, where are we? So, when you're watching this, it is, well, you're watching it the same day I'm making it. But, the previous video you watched, which was posted the day before yesterday, was actually from three days before. Um, see if I can put that in perspective. So, on Friday evening, no, Thursday evening, I went to do some business at the bank and had already pre-recorded my video excuse me, earlier in the morning at like four. And so <clears throat> I uh, went to the bank later that evening on Thursday and got into a conversation with someone in my Uber on the way home that started an inspiration cycle for me. And over the course of that evening, from, I wanna say, around 10, 10.30, maybe, maybe 11 o'clock at night, until about 2.30 in the morning, and I usually record these around 4 a.m., I was hit by an inspiration bug that went hard and went fast and was very fluid. And then I wrote a short film that I've been wanting to write for some time or among the list of all these short films I've started to have ideas for. And so it's based on an experience that a friend of mine had um, when he drove Uber, um, not completely because I, of course I added some elements to it that certainly don't match his his life but uh, or his experience moreover but it was definitely inspired by that but i wrote the entire short film and one night it seemed very in those three and a half hours it was very fluid very quick and came out very strong even just in the first draft so that was very nifty for me um, it's been a while since I wrote a script all the way through. The script writing a script can be very intimidating. Um, most definitely a feature length, but even short, because when you think about it, you want to write something that has a beginning, middle, and an end, and all these points that you get caught up on, you know. You know, you know what's a established character, you have plot point A, plot point B, plot point C. Plot point B is usually called the midpoint. And those can be very intimidating things to sort of come up with uh, for some people. Now, there are many writers who are incredibly capable of doing that, just like that. Others are not, and I'm for unfortunately, as creative as I can be, I'm among the list of people who have a little bit of a challenge and get a little too caught up and sometimes deflated and de discouraged, de encouraged, discouraged by not knowing exactly where I'm going to go. But this just was just fire. It knew where it was going. The characters pulled me forward and I wrote it and was very happy with the first draft. Had a number of typos, which over the next day, I uh, eliminated most of them, 99% of them. And then by Friday evening, it have been Wednesday evening even when I did that. I mean, this, I can't remember, it was Wednesday or Thursday evening. I want to say it was Wednesday evening, maybe this happened. But um, when I went to the, had the inspiration bug, it's been a pretty involved weekend, 
Um, but yeah, it was really great, and I was really, really excited about it. And it sort of started an energy cycle that continued to continued me through Friday evening. Pretty much, um, I started writing. Then the days are just blending together in a way because I don't remember which day. But the day after I wrote the original script. I started asking people, so it had to have been Thursday. So I wrote it on Wednesday. On Thursday, I asked my family to read it. Um, and then on Friday, I shared it with a select group of people to get their feedback. I've gotten a couple of uh, feedback uh, sheets so far. But, um, so far, it's been fairly positive, um, pretty strong, pretty positive. Definitely a very, the, the film has a little twist to it, here and there, and um, definitely an adult content film, but I think very strong, and it propelled me to begin writing on Friday evening, it had to have been Friday evening, yes. And I started writing the draft for another short film. Uh, that I've devised that I think is going to be very strong that also has its own little twists to it. But um, it definitely hasn't propelled me as fast as the first one. And part of it's that that's my own fault. Because when you write something that's really strong and really good, you can become very nervous that the next effort will not match that. And so it can deflate you. And even in writing this second one, I could tell that there's some things that ultimately can be removed. But whereas with the first one, I felt, wow, this is really strong. And I don't know what I would cut because it just has so much relevance. And But the second one is not quite the same way, even though I think the story is as strong. And I'm unfortunately a little bit obsessive when it comes to the perspective of thinking, well, why am I writing something if it's not going to be in there later on? I'm wasting time. And if it's not perfect and exactly the way I want it, I sometimes get discouraged rather than just pumping through it, getting it done, and coming back and working on it more later. And so, as much as I like this second concept, very much. I'm a little concerned that it might, well, I've put on myself a weight that it's not going to be as good as the other one um, right out of the gate, which the other one was very solid right out of the gate. But I still think it's a lot of potential to it. So these are some of the struggles that writers go through. I think actors go through them too. I don't know why the thing keeps moving, it's just the vibration. See if I can put something in the way to keep it from moving. There we go. Maybe that'll help. We'll find out. <laughs> Either that or we'll push it to the other side. So that's kind of what's been going on um, the last couple of days. And it's interfered with, I've let it interfere with my ability to get on here and make the vlogs. But I knew late Sunday. I said, okay, I gotta get back and do it again. I'm gonna fall behind. It's not my desire. It's not maintaining my consistency like I want. Gotta get back onto it. And so here I am, back with you again. So, that's kind of my weekend. And, uh, let's see what else. Maybe my dogs, a lot of the weekend. I had to spend some quality time with my puppies. Inspiration was definitely a big part of my weekend. Um, ideas. I did write a number of moments out of sequence from the original, my second script I'm working on. Um, I did have a number of ideas for the moments later on 
that I wrote out of sequence. Uh, so the script looks longer within the concept of the page count than it actually is, or maybe not as long as it's going to be, because I sort of had little moments I threw in there that I knew I wanted to have in the picture later. So it was fun. I mean, it's but a great source of inspiration. I just felt very excited about the motivation to do it and to write these scripts. So I really ultimately want to make them. Um, the second one I'm working on right now might be a little harder to make uh, because it involves some more physical, excuse me, efforts that um, may be kind of hard to pull off. In other words, mild stunt work, and it involves having police cars on the scene. But um, it has a lot of great qualities to it. And um, I'm really excited about that. I think from a script standpoint, the first one and the second one could definitely have the ability to win some kind of awards or at least placed somewhere in script competitions. We'll see. I mean, it, I think every writer thinks, oh, this is good, I'll place it in something. Um, I hope this does. I was just thinking, I know there's a pattern that I have worked very hard to try and eliminate, and that is saying, um, a lot. I try not to do that because it feels like I can't think of a consistent sentence or I really just don't have any idea what I'm talking about. But the truth is, is that I do feel, as a writer, that this script I just finished has a lot of potential. And I feel that it could do well in script competitions, as well as the second one. These two particularly, I think, are very cool little scripts with distinctive messages that are very relevant. Uh, oh, there it was. They're very relevant in these times. So, I'm going to bust to finish the second one this week. I really do want to finish it. I really want to get it out there and done and start getting some feedback on this. I'd really like to make two or three short films before the end of the year. That's really important to me. I think those are very necessary things for me right now. Of course, I have other things I've got to worry about as well. You know, my business and all that. So, remind me I need to go make a payment today. Uh, Anyway, so those are, that's what's been happening to me over the weekend. Have you had any inspiration over the weekend? Got anything done writing-wise, creativity-wise? It's very important. And you just never know where the conversations are going to come from that are going to inspire you. This um, conversation I had that inspired me was the Uber driver uh, who was taking me home. Um, she uh, she was telling me she's an actor and we began this conversation I don't want to say her name because I don't know if she wants her name put out there or not at this particular moment so out of respect for her I don't want to do that but um, she started talking about she was an actor working on scripts and I said oh I have a small studio here that um, I basically just started and I did classes and such and she told me she had written a screenplay and um, it started with we both take classes with one of the same people and uh, 
she talked. We started talking about writing, and she spoke about how she had written a script, and then it transitioned to talking about her experiences working for Uber, and uh, <laughs> that was really fun because she was sharing her experience, which I hope she will write a short film about if you're listening, and um, it made me. It rehashed the story my friend had told me and made me go, hey, you know, I really think that's a good story. So when I got out of the when I got off the out of her car finally, we sat there and spoke for about an hour. It's a really great conversation. Really awesome person. Um, and I went inside and it just hit and I just started pumping this out and like I said what I was leading to with that point of that is you just never know where inspiration is going to come from it made me think of the movie Jerry Maguire where Tom Cruise says you know something that happened with one of his client's kids it just sparked something in him and he wrote a how many pages he said it was when he wrote it within the story he wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote and he wasn't a writer and that's what it was even though I am a writer uh, to a degree it was the same sort of thing it just started and it wouldn't stop and I couldn't be pulled away from the screen because it was just pouring out. And those are the moments you look for. Because if you can harness that and enjoy that and find ways to recreate it, then you can write and write and write. Or perform and perform and perform. You still have, you still have to find something that sparks that strength or that creative force within you to keep you moving forward. And that certainly did for me. And hearing positive words the day after from my family and then from a couple of the people who I asked to read the script definitely further offers inspiration. But like I said, I can sabotage myself quite easily by starting to think well this isn't as good as the other one is or the um it's not coming as fluidly and the truth is that sometimes it just won't you see great scripts and great movies and sometimes they're stronger than others there are some that just hit you and they just work and there are some that just don't or they just they aren't a 10 on the scale of when you, where you were when you were writing them. doesn't mean they're going to be considered a 10 by everybody else. But for you as a writer, they just may not be a 10. The same comes with acting. And that's why developing a script in a normal situation is usually your best bet versus just starting to write it. Because if you start writing and you don't know where you're going, you can easily become discouraged because you start going, where is it supposed to be? I don't know what's supposed to happen. And you don't have any of those things in your mind. Whereas, sometimes, you can start writing the first line and you just know that it's going to pull you through. You just ride the wave and you get there. And that's what happened for me on that night. So, I know I've rambled on about this quite a bit well, the entire time we've been here today. But I don't think I can emphasize enough how important it is to grab inspiration when it comes and do something with it. For me, it's as much about knowing it's not always going to be a 10. It doesn't always have to be a 10. 
Sometimes you start out with something that's a 10 and it's the best it can ever be. Sometimes you start out with something and it's a six. But by the time you're done, you feel like, wow, this is better than I ever thought I could do with it. It's beyond my 10. But you have to be willing to go with the six until you can go back and find all the gems and within that idea or script you've written thus far and bring those forward and isolate them and still create a narrative and a, and a um, uh, cohesive story without utilizing the things that drag it down. And just be happy that sometimes if you can get your script to an eight, you're doing pretty good. Because there are a lot of fours and fives out there. Sometimes less than that where people write the first draft and they think it's over. It's never over after the first draft. Never. It can be very strong, but you never know when someone could offer that little tidbit that could open up ideas for you that you hadn't considered that you think will be valuable. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, but you have to be willing to keep your mind open to that. When I first started writing this questionnaire I sent out to the people who I asked to read, you know one of the first things that came to my mind is rate this on a scale of one to 10, but you know what that is? That's an ego builder or demolisher because that's not what's relevant. That is you stroking your ego or deflating it if they don't respond the way you want them to. So if you don't ask people what rating they'll give the script on a scale of one to 10, please tell me my script's a 10. That was egotistical on my part and it was an ego stroke I was looking for. Ask them, what do you think the underlying message is? See if what you wrote comes across Ask them, were the characters distinctive? And then, you know, to describe the characters as you think they were distinctive. Did the, did, could you see this as a movie? Ask them if they can see it as a movie. Sometimes they'll say yes, sometimes they will not say no. Ask them um, if it kept you, them engaged. They'll be honest and tell you. Sometimes people will be nice to you and other times people will be honest with you. And if you're lucky, You've chosen the people who you know are going to be honest with you. Just be inspired. I hope you will be. And thanks for spending the time with me today. Hope you have a terrific rest of the uh, day, evening, whatever it is. And um, be well.